This is Black Hills Fox Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello, everybody. The Custer girls basketball team has racked up a four and four record this season. Tonight, the Wildcats took on St. Thomas Moore. STM girls entered this game with a four and three record in the first quarter. Custer's Jordan Larson. This is the Kylie Ellerton, and she knocks down a three pointer. Nice start for Tate Vincent squad. Cavs up by three. Megan Lee adds to the lead as she puts it off the window for two. Lee is also a force. On the volleyball court, Jordan Larson then throws the ball into Jada Bennett. She drives into the lane and scores a good first quarter from the Wildcats. In the second quarter, it's 11 to 10. Custer Ryland Horning puts STM up as she finds nothing but twine from 19-9. And this game belongs to the Cavaliers as they take it 44 to 34. Elsewhere in girls hoops tonight, Rapid City Christian defeated Sturgis 57-43. Belfouche rolled past Lee Deadwood 53 3 to 11 at the girls West River tournament. Hot Springs defeated Ulrich's 49 29. Newell got past Moorcroft 48 to 36. The Lemon girls picked up a 76 37 victory over Wakpala. Philip Cruz passed Crazy Horse 74 to 20. In boys basketball, Belfouche knocked off Lee Deadwood 59 51. Pine Ridge took care of St. Francis 80 to 48. Clayton Kepler turned in an outstanding high school soccer career over at Rapid City Central. Kepler will now get a chance to play at the collegiate level. Clayton Kepler has signed on a dotted line to continue his soccer career at the University of Jamestown in North Dakota. And he's excited to join the Jimmies. So Jamestown, their athletics facility is really nice and their soccer program is really good. Uh, the head coach there is really like working towards what he needs to and I agree with everything he's doing and even though I, he's like not my coach he's still been helping me off the field like giving me tips on how to get better strengthening my skills and stuff like that. Having him on the team's a, really been a blessing because he's such a hard worker he's committed dedicated he's willing to do basically anything I ask on the field uh, he's super helpful off the field he's always early you know um, he's a leader other younger players look up to him. Kepler is a strong all-around player that spent time on the pitch as both a forward and a defender for the Cobblers. Probably one of my biggest strengths is my left foot. It's unpredictable and like people just don't expect it. So like when people are defending, like it's hard to know where they're gonna go. And so having this left foot, I can go both directions pretty easily. Uh, I'm also pretty quick and just aggressive. So I'm not afraid to go in and tackle someone just to get the ball. I think he can be a pretty effective player. I, I would assume he'd end up as a defender, maybe a midfielder because he can, he has good vision from the back. Uh, he can predict play and cut down balls. Uh, and he's, he's very efficient at delivering passes or service balls. Kepler looks forward to facing some good competition at the collegiate level, and he's ready to improve both on and off the field. I want to continue to just get better in everything, like all aspects of the game and everything. I just want to get better, be better. Um, I want to continue like schooling and hopefully progress into the next level after college. Um, that's kind of my main goal. That's always been my main goal. Uh, I kind of just love the game and I just want to keep playing at a higher level. Good catching up with Clayton. Uh, congrats to him. Be exciting. What do you, see what he does there at the University of Jamestown. Good luck to him. Do you have more scores? I do have more scores for you tonight. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> In boys basketball, quite the game tonight. Lemon knocked off Wakpala. 51 to 50 and in girls basketball Lyman gets the win 72 to 50 over Kadoka. And a lot of people say this is the best weekend for football coming up, Vic. They're all good weekends, so but all, especially but this, this one. Especially though. this one. We, it's wild card weekend. Super wild card. Super weekend. wild card weekend uh, here on Fox Sunday afternoon, Cowboys and Packers. Next Monday on Coda, Bucks and Eagles. All right. Thank you, Vic. We'll be right back.